D- Dylan's going to spend this episode on his phone. <laughs> Welcome to Curiosity Public, Dutch Jules, Delightful Dylan, with great happiness. And welcome to yet another one of our world famous drink throughs. That's right, world famous. And in this one, (laughs) local famous, (laughs) Russell's Reserve. Wow. Now, guys, this is called Russell's Reserve. And for some reason, when we did our drink through that was called Wild Turkey, lots of people are like, where's the Russell's? But that was the Wild Wild. Turkey drink through, right? Jeez. Did any of these say Wild Turkey on them? Wow. (laughs) Wow. Dutch is just going off today. Is this... uh... Is this Dutch's <laughs> alter ego, Butch? <laughs> yes, it might be. Um, anyway, we had a, lo- a ton of, of requests, obviously, and a lot of like complaints that we didn't include Russell's. <laughs> a lot, lot of turkey. complaints. Complaints. <laughs> we hear you, though. We hear. Um, but all along, we were like, well, no, Russell's deserves its own. Why would we include it with Wild Turkey? Okay, of course, we know why you think we should, but we didn't do that. We did it. We, it's going to get <laughs> its that own show. Been like, <laughs> yeah, which actually- wouldn't have been like... Wouldn't have been able to fit on the table. But anyway, today we're doing Russell's, and we've got a pretty nice selection here. Why don't we quickly go through what we've got, and then we're going to get into these one by one, taste them, and talk about them. Okay, so we've got them kind of divided up by the bourbons and the ryes down there on the end. For the bourbons, we've got the regular issue 10-year. We've got a single barrel release. We've got a single barrel um, store pick. We've got a 13-year, and we've got the single Rickhouse Russell's Reserve. And then down there for the rise, we've got the six-year standard issue and then a single barrel as well. All right, guys, you ready to do this? This looks good. I'm excited to start here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll get there. Let's start with the tenure. Okay, guys, Russell's Reserve tenure. Let's get a close-up here of the bottle. Look at that. Russell's Reserve straight bourbon, 10 years old, 45% alcohol. 30 bu- 40 bucks, you say, for this? For a 10-year-old age dated... $39.99. 90 proof whiskey. Not bad. Yeah, but I think the more important question is, how does this distinguish itself? From the Com- turkey? Yes, that is correct. So the, the reason we're drawing that comparison is this comes from the same distillery. Uh, the Russell family, obviously, the people that run that. And, and this is kind of like the special Yeah, yeah and I also want to make sure that we... Uh, we clearly define the flavor profile okay. relative to wild turkey. Wow, look how much I spilled down the front of the label here. <laughs> uh, you know, some things never change. Yeah, thanks. Okay, guys, how's the nose? Oh, man, the first word that comes to mind, underdog. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so much going there's on. There's a lot. There's sweet. A, it's pretty really, sophisticated really for sweet. what you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I get honey. 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 That's what I was going to say. Honey. It's not just a bag. Honey. That was like, <laughs> well, Mike's probably didn't pick that up, but that was yeah. a very... I not, I <laughs> not like uh, a magazine that calls something a honey barrel without any honey in it. <laughs> yeah, this definitely has a touch of honey to it. You get a little bit of grain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a soup sauna of grain. And people talk about that wild turkey kind of funk that it has, you know, and I don't know, I, I've never... It's not that prevalent here, though. No. No. You know, I think the... One, one thing that's really um, that stands out for me is that it has less floral notes mm-hmm. compared to the wild turkey, the main line. Because I always like that hint of it that comes in with all the wild turkey products. And mm-hmm. I always enjoy that component. Obviously, it can get buried if you're just you know, drinking it for the sake of drinking it. But if you sit down and analyze it, you get that a lot more with the wild turkey. Here, it's a little less. I think you get a little bit more wood that yeah. come through. I mean, that's right? 10 years old. I mean, you're getting a pretty good age statement. Right? Now, before we move on though, I wanted you, I wanted Dutch to- I just wanted to drink it. We can't drink it. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> Why don't you drink it first? Let's okay. drink first. <laughs> Such an easy sipper. Mm. Very easy sipper, but you know, the thing is, but there's... overall it's muted. Yeah, we'll but say. they're still there. If you want to, if you want to analyze this, there's plenty to analyze here. Yeah. Again, You're the wood comes through. I think the wood comes through. But not tannic. No. Not not. Well, I think it's actually well balanced. Personally. Just a little bit, but 
I think you get more of kind of the raw wood flavor as well. Mm -hmm. The barrel influence is mm -hmm. more more in that spectrum. Now, what I wanted to bring up was, do you remember Mr. Russell talking about age in a bourbon? Right, yeah. he the talked sweet spot. Right, right. What 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 did he say, Dutch? Um, I think he said you shouldn't really age a bourbon more than ten or twelve years. And he said, this, I don't think it's even that much. I think he said the sweet spot for him is like seven or eight. Right, and that was like. The master distiller. <laughs> and in person, he would say that. Right? Yeah. He, you yeah. Know? But I think we asked him about that, too, about, like, what you felt like was the sweet spot. And so it's a little odd, right? Because for him, it's less than 10 years. Yes. And yet that's kind of their flagship. Yeah. Or their, I mean, for marketing, it looks really good, though, to have a 10 on there, right? That's true. <laughs> right. And so let me ask you another question here. We have Eagle Rare 10 year, right? Mm. And people go absolutely bonkers like over you. Russell uh, yeah. uh, Eagle, Eagle Rare, Rare. Eagle Rare tenure. You have another <laughs> tenure. Yeah, you, have, you have another Russell. tenure here. Yeah, same right? price, yeah, roughly. About, about the same price. Easier you, to find. Yeah, easier to find. What do you think? I think you're looking at two different ends of the flavor spectrum here. You know, with this, you're getting more of the yeah. grain and oak. With Eagle Rare, you're getting the sweetness. You might be getting a little bit of a better mouthfeel sometimes with Eagle Rare. Mm. This is less sweet, but more punchy to me. Slightly more punchy. Eagle Rare tends to be... More complex, though, I think. Yes, this is I agree definitely, with you. The, the Russell's is definitely more complex to me. I, I mean, like, full disclosure, I'm not the biggest fan of Eagle Rare. The reason is it's just boring to me. It is just, it, you know, it's, it was, it's one of those things, I guess, for people who maybe started bur uh, their bourbon journey recently, um, you know, th their perspective might be different. But back in my day, Eagle Rare used to sit on the shelf and collect dust. And I used to give it as a gift to people I did not like. <laughs> So that's what I used to do. <laughs> it's like, I I'm need to a get something. I'm a recipient of two. Eagle Rare. Nobody, yeah, no one likes Eagle Rare here. Here's All right. Eagle. Well, as much as we'd love to keep talking about this, let's move on to the single barrel. Okay, next up is the Russell's Reserve single barrel uh, non chill filter. Now we're bumping the proof up from 90 to a uh, whopping 110. Look at that. 55% alcohol, non chill filtered bourbon. Whiskey, look at that, beautiful. So this is single barrel, so what we taste here will... Likely not be. Yeah, not be what you, what, what experience you have, but you are at a higher proof point and you know you also don't have the age statement on this. So, it's also not a pick. It's also not a store pick, which we will be getting to. And we um, did that on purpose, because we wanted one that wasn't... Yeah, we kind of wanted to, should we do them at the same time? Mm. Well, let's try no, this. Still and better, better. Keep, yeah. our, keep, our bottle, yeah. uh, keep our glass full, okay. All right, so what's our price point on this one? <laughs> Didn't we just buy it today? Let me go look at the receipt. In my century, the other oh, we don't have money anymore. Okay, um, price point on the uh, on this guy is uh, sixty bucks. So fifty nine ninety nine is what we paid for this particular bottle. All right, Dylan, what are you getting on the nose? Anything different? Yeah, th this um, it's actually exciting. Oh man, um, it's exciting. Yeah. You're getting that's floral, the best way I can describe it because here and you're getting the mm. caramelized sugar now too. I you, am. You're you're looking at kind of the the strength of legacy distillers. You're getting that balance of, I will say, I mean, it has hints of that floral yeah, note that Bob Kirky usually it. has. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, it has the depth in the wood components. That's a beautiful nose. Mm. Oh, it's you just, get, getting caramel. it's so sweet and. And you're getting the good spice, peppery spice punching. Well just, balanced. I just, just the right going the back spice. to, oh. you know, picking wildflowers and you're like smelling it in the fields, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just. It's a wonderful nose, wonderful nose. Oh yeah, it is, All right, it is let's, amazing. Uh, let's get to the palate, guys. Mm. You know, there's just a touch of funk right in the middle of the palate. It's a, it's a little bit grainy, and if you were to be able, if you could remove that, yeah, <laughs> there's it's just it's just perfect bourbon. I feel like the mouthfeel <laughs> got better though. Uh, it's like, this is a nicer coating for me. Definitely yeah, better. It's definitely yeah. yeah the the, I helps. think the yeah 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 proof the body helps. is body you know, it, it's yeah. it's punching higher. But but the thing is. I definitely get the wood, and yeah. it's now tannic. On the finish. Yeah, on the finish. Yeah, sure. um, there's that, that acidity, like mm -hmm. acidic finish. 
this is where like the chaos comes. But if you're、yeah. the type of person that really like a really bold, punchy wood flavor, dark, dark,、mm. you know, almost tannic. It's almost like I always think of、uh, you know your your favorite. Um, Nineteen、uh, twenty. No, E. H. Taylor. Yes. Where that one is,、mm. it's like a it's it's like straightforward tannic finish. Oh yeah. This one is a, a little, little bit more, a little more nuanced. Yeah, yeah. They, they have it comes and comes and goes. I think between this E. H. Taylor、uh, small batch and nineteen、uh, twenty、mm. old fortune nineteen twenty, I think those three actually would be a really interesting blind. Yeah. You know they're in the in the same proof range hundred to hundred and ten. Hundred fifteen, I think, for nineteen twenty, but they all have that strong oak finish, the tannic、yeah. oak finish, which isn't, you know. By the way, we should say that hits people differently.、Mm. Right. Like for me, I get a lot of tannic on the E. H. Taylor, nineteen twenty. I I can get it, but it's not to me as intense. This one's kind of on the lighter side for me.、No. Also, yeah, this is in between for me. Yeah, I mean, you can tell it's. Yeah, it's, it's definitely there, but <laughs> yeah, it's there, but it's it doesn't, not. It doesn't. Like, it,、yeah, it doesn't turn it off and set out. It's yeah, just, I kind of like it. So I mean,、yeah. there's honey, but then what I like about this is that there, right in the middle, the core is this very light brown sugar. Yeah, yeah, the, right. The, the caramelized sugars are there. Yeah, it's the brown just it's just、sugar. right there, and so that I appreciate. Now I I can see how sometimes this might be difficult to just sip for a long time because of the finish. The finish is definitely woody. Sure. Right. It comes through. All right. Well, let's set this glass aside because I want to be able to compare it head to head with the pick, and let's jump to the barrel pick. All right. We've got a red sticker now on the、uh, one we just poured, the regular release、um, single barrel. Now we're going to jump to the store pick, and it says here, as you can see, a private barrel selection. Again, single barrel, non chill filtered, and one ten proof. So the stats in that regard are the same. Now on the back of these. They have these stickers that will show you the date distilled, the date dumped, and the date bottled. So you can see there, this was distilled December 2012 and dumped in September 2021. So it is what is that?、Uh, nine years old, or eight, eight years old, and change, and warehouse, and then who selected it, and all that cool stuff. So let's see if KL did a better job at picking a barrel. <laughs> Only spilled a little bit. Now, Jules, I think you and I cracked into this bottle on a live stream. That's right. And、uh, you guys do live streams. What's that、Dude. word there? Live live streams. <laughs> I said live streams. Streams. Racist. <laughs> How's the nose on this one? Okay, there's definitely.、Mm. It's different. It's sweeter. Oh, it's you know the it's sweeter. So in the、mm, aroma, I think it's sweeter. It's slightly sweeter and it's less wood. Yeah, less floral like, too. Well, now the the other ones had a little bit more time to open up, I think. But this this does smell sweeter to me. I don't know. Yeah, but it's more, very similar though. It's like a little bit of you get that touch of white sugar now more than the brown. <sighs> yeah, a little bit less caramelized, a little yeah, brighter. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's that. It's that. You disagree? Yeah, I'm not getting it sweeter. I guess.、Mm. I mean, they're very close. It's、yeah. not like a massive difference to me. All right, palate. Wow, it's oakier across the board for me. Especially, for oh me. man, especially the finish, dude. Oh,、well, I get the、for、oak、me. in the mid palate now. Really, it hits me earlier. I don't get tannic though. No, it's not no, tannic, no. but it's oakier、yeah. to me. Yeah, it is oaky. I get, I'm getting less brown sugar. It's more, it's like very, very、um, crisp, refined sugar.、Um, I think I'm missing more of the floral now. It's, yeah, it's very woody. Um, hint of caramel. Like, those are the things that I'm looking at here. No man, I'm not getting any caramel on this.、Uh -huh. I don't know if I like、hint. this better. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna go back try the、uh, the regular single barrel again. Yeah, I don't think I do. Yeah, the original one is、It's、just a way better experience. More depth. Might be. Yeah. I, I feel like the this private barrel select. If you're thinking about the spectrum, it's a little bit more narrow. And then、mm -hmm. it, and then it's narrow, and then you have. But it's got sharp like, points. Yeah, it's very sharp points. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, this one is broader. Broader. Yeah, and just kind of, it's like the bell curve. Yeah, right. Exactly. And so,、yep. yeah, this is not a store pick. This is just a single barrel from. Yeah. The the. I'm just gonna look up what we paid for the、uh, single barrel here.、Uh, it was seventy dollars. So sixty nine ninety nine versus fifty nine ninety nine. About ten dollar premium you'll pay on those barrel picks. I don't know that it's worth it. 
Honestly, I mean, if you know, if you're really into Russell's and Wild Turkey, and you just want to experience the differences in flavor profile you can get from single barrels, they're certainly interesting. Um, Nuance, but, yeah. But I, uh, I'm wondering, like, I don't think it's should you go out of the way to go find a store pick or a individual's pick well, so versus here's, here's another the, single barrel, which is another single barrel anyway. Right, but okay. Yeah, let's, it's let's, worth let's it. Bring you know why? To, because you don't know which one you are getting, right? Unless you experience. know who's picking it. Now, in, in general, we think yeah. KL does a pretty good job. We've got a lot of their picks from different True. Yep. different True. companies over the years, and in general, their picks tend to be on the better side for me. More consistent. And consistently pretty good. So if they are consistently pretty good with Russell's, then I would agree with you. Or we just happen to get a really, a really good, good single barrel <laughs> there. So that's, exactly. again, the, the problem with single barrels is it's, it's hard, to provide, yeah. hard to provide any useful information for the viewer, unfortunately. Well, it's but useful when you're doing the drink through because you can compare oh, yeah. this versus yeah. the but, base product. But what right? I would say is, is try this one first. It's cheaper. If you really, really like this, and you say this is my jam, then start exploring. The that is a very good. Right? That's a very good advice. Yeah, yeah I, I would not jump I, to I the. Only give good advice, guys. <laughs> the look of <laughs> scorn, <laughs> hatred. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, hey, let's move on to something special with the thirteen here. Okay, pass that on down. Russell's thirteen. <laughs> So this one, let's take a look at that bottle. It's got a really cool blue motif going yeah. on. 13 years old, barrel proof, non-chill filter. This one is 114.8 proof, 57.4% alcohol. Holy crap. I think there's been, what, two or three releases of this, still? In the game. So this is the second. Right? This is the second yeah, one. Yeah, second release. Um, originally released in 2021. I think it was to celebrate and a master distiller, Eddie Russell, for the 41st anniversary. That was the original intent. Um, one thing to note, and kind of an interesting little side bit, is that um, a super taster uh, by the name of Sherilyn Gammon uh, was involved. And what's interesting about her is I think she was also involved in the Blue Run oh. experience, which is, you know, had some heat a little bit. I also want to... Do a little commentary here where straight talk with Dylan. Okay. Uh, this was a nightmare. This was a nightmare. Oh, this is your nightmare to get this one. This right, yeah. was a nightmare. Um, I think if I didn't have this show, which again, I'm losing money every second I stand here, uh, <laughs> I would never have picked this up because I paid uh, over retail. Retail price is $100. Uh, I paid uh, double, over double for mm. this. You paid over $200? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And wow. I had to Just ask them, I asked them to throw in a mezcal <laughs> so that I would feel You're better. That desperate. It huh? was bad. And I was, I felt shame. And I had a lot of buyer's remorse. How many times have you cried? Um, oh, I, I do not have human tears, so I do not cry. But uh, Saline solution. <laughs> it's, uh, it was shameful. I mean, this was... And then I think the secondary market prices here right now is like 800 to to 1000 yeah, It's absurd. It's so absurd. let's see. Let's see if this is worth 800 to to $1,000. All right. All right, guys. How is the nose? What do you think? I mean, I've... Uh, <laughs> this is my bottle, so I've been drinking it for a while. Um, I mean, I can drink a lot of it. Dude, look at these the candles that are on sh in the shot here. This is, what is oh, this? Jeez. Look at Operation. all that. Crap. What? What? Look at the candles. Look at the, There you that's, go. That's, 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 this is your problem. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, no, that's a shot that's too. A oh, whatever, shot. anyway, who cares? Um, I, I get. Well, I want to hear Jules first. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too, but I get it's um, very uh, I get berries on the nose, personally. You know what this nose reminds me of? It reminds me of the father son thirteen year. A little bit. Is it thirteen but, year? But you know what? It the leads off. It leads off with the grape skin. Yeah, there's it leads a fruit. off with the it's grape. fruit to begin with. And you know what? The other thing, and after going through a lot of uh, uh, self hate for purchasing this. Um, when I when I did the fresh crack and I and I tasted it, I said, "Okay, there's definitely barrel selection here." You know, we've been drinking bourbon for a very long time. I mean, over 20 years, I think. And you know 
the types of barrels that have, you know, what we what we call honey barrels, and what is deemed to be the superior barrel, the balanced barrel, right? And this has a lot of that. And and I'm very curious. Curiosity public about the palette and what your review is going to be. Because right, again, I've tried this multiple times. Well, let's go. Finally, oh, what, yeah, Jeez. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> the nose is better than the palate to me. I'm first sip. I'm gonna give it one more sip before I render final judgment. I was gonna say, I think, you know, it's funny. I think I get why <laughs> the market prices are what they are. So what do you the think? The secondary. So what do you think? I think it's great. It's good. It's really good. You know why? I'm getting so much more flavor out of this you know, from not just the floral component, the honey, but then the, the fruit is what's, like I'm getting to stewed fruit. Uh, it's not that Okay, okay. So, so stewed fruit, but know. here's the other thing. But the spice overpowers it. For you me. know what I like what? about this? Yeah. You know what I like about this? I like the apricot mm. flavor. I like the peach. Yeah. I like the summer fruits. I like the stewed fruits. I like the jam. So it checks off a lot all of the boxes, things that you want. A lot want. of boxes, yeah. Um, one interesting thing is like I, my my the rumor is that the super taster um, Sherilyn, when she was helping with the design of this uh, flavor profile, um, I think she was pregnant, and so she wasn't able mm. to taste it. Really? So she went by aroma like, only. Wow. And so really interesting. That's why I think the aroma when 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 I opened this, I said okay. As soon as I whiffed, I said okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it. This is this is definitely. A league on its, you know, of its own. Right. And then the flavor profile, though. Like the Tom Hanks movie. Yes. Or the new TV <laughs> That's show. That's why he doesn't cry. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Crying in bourbon tasting. Uh, so, I, I, guys, I have to disagree with you. I, I, I find this way too spicy. Like to me, I, I can tell what oh, you're talking really? about, but the spice <laughs> covers it all up. It's, it's what? unbalanced. No. It's not balanced. It's just not the balanced. The spice. The flavors are all not... there. <laughs> And the tag is still on. <laughs> no, I, think you, I think you need this about your self shame a little bit more than my honest. You can, you can, you can uh, cut that. I, it's, just, it's not balanced to me. I, I get the flavors. It's, it's a lot of good flavors. I prefer the nose to the palate. The so, nose is exceptional. So here's the thing. Which is ironic for me. I actually agree with you. So I think there's a problem with this. Mm. There's actually, I, I, I get it does check off a lot of things. It's chaotic. Well, not. Entirely, but I think the oak component, mm -hmm. the oak and the wood component is off. Yeah. There's Especially a there's the a there's actually a bitterness mm -hmm. that comes through. And this is I think I find I find irony here because this is where Mr. Russell talking about things being over oaked over, yeah. and he hates yeah. that component. The age, there, yeah. There's a component of that, even though this is to celebrate him. I will go on record. Him. I do not enjoy this. Wow. I preferred both of these to that easily. I, Jules? I no, disagree. Right? Yeah, I, I, Sorry, yeah, no, man. This is, I mean, this is. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too chaotic. It's so, it, it's it's so good, loud dude. on the spice. And, and there's flavors there, but man, if you're spending $300, this thing better be better balanced than this. And it's just not there, man. Okay, let me clarify then. Uh, so I think Dutch, Dutch doesn't like wood. Okay, and he's made that clear Good. on multiple well, occasions. Well, when balanced properly, it's fine. And when it's not tannic, it's okay. This no, one you, is, you don't like any wood. <laughs> so, so here's the thing. I love wood for wood. If, if you are the type of person where you enjoy that heavy wood-like flavor, uh, like an undercurrent of wood at all times when you're, when you're drinking something like this, this would be your jam. Uh, but if you don't it like that... It would be your jam? It will... It would. will overwhelm. I think for folks that um, like Dutch's delicate disposition, it, it does overwhelm to a degree. I will say this is probably not going to be my daily. Yeah. While I appreciate I this quite that. a bit, um, this it, is not it's, something where... It's wood and spice. Yeah, it's and wood I and spice. I, I can understand why it was reviewed so well, though. Yeah. Right? I, I and, know. You know, and, and you know what? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why. Yeah, I'm going to tell you it. why. When I first opened this and I tasted it, it's very different than what I'm drinking right now. Okay. You know why? It had no wood. Mm -hmm. It had no wood. Only the, the sugary components were coming out. So when all the reviewers opened the bottle first and they crack. tried it, yeah. first crack, it was like, mm. whoa, this is it. Exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. I went back to this five times mm. so far. Okay, mm. And I've had other people try this majority of those folks don't drink bourbon all the time and but they do enjoy certain types 
they tasted this. I didn't tell them what it was. They tasted it and they said, this is really bitter. Mm, that it, was their review. It's a lot of wood. And a I said, lot of well, tannic. if you don't like the wood and if you don't like that finish, then maybe it's not your jam. I so mean, to me, it's, it's, a, it's a combo of that and the spice. The spice is cranked on this. You know, so if you love spice, you love wood, you're gonna love this thing. I mean, the nose is is, is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and, and there are it, the sweetness is not there to balance out how heavy the wood and the spice are for me. I also want to give my experience. So, my fresh crack, I thought this was like it blew me away. I said, mm. "Oh my gosh, this is this is almost like on the level of Pappy Van Winkle." Uh, barrel picks like the, the the barrel selections that they'd go through yeah. and then I did the second time and the second time it was really bitter it was like I cannot drink this what did I buy and I started to get more mm. like frustrated by the yeah. amount of money I paid I, I feel like you do I feel like that right the now the third the third time <laughs> I didn't even pay for got it. better and then fourth time a little better than that and the fifth time I was like okay it's kind of plateaued I get what they were trying to do but I I don't see what some of the reviewers have said uh, in subsequent tastings. Mm. I think the initial tasting, I get it. Like all of the stuff that people have written yeah. definitely shows. But the wood component is off. There's definitely, it's... it's uh, uh, this I, comes back to my point. Over oak to For a, $300, you can't have something that off. You just can't. Right. And now again, that's not what they price it at. So right. I'll give them credit. At 100 bucks. For sure. And you like Russell's, absolutely pick Steel. it up. Steel. Right. Do not spend secondary. Do not but pay secondary. secondary. This yeah. is not eight hundred dollars. Heck no. Like you would be very disappointed. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm still disappointed in that. myself. You'd be very stupid to buy it for eight hundred dollars. Whoa, that's that's, said it. that's really harsh, Dutch. Do you need the therapy doll done? Uh, I, do you need to do you need to cuddle remember, this? Remember, this, remember, remember, remember this year, Pet this year it, I am trying to be delightful, Dylan. Truly. With happiness. And you know, this is this is fine. Are we creeped out that he has dolls under his station over there? No, we know this by All right, now. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as much as we'd like to spend the rest of this episode talking about Russell's 13, we have to keep moving to probably another uh, as controversial one, uh, another equally controversial one there, the uh, single Rick House. Okay, guys. Next one down there, the single Rick House. We're going to keep our Russell's 13. I'm going to put a sticker back on mine so I don't get it confused. Here is the single Rick House. It's got a, actually a really nice looking label too. It's kind of a dark green motif. Uh, limited release, Rick House collection, Camp Nelson matured, uh, Camp Nelson C matured on floors three and four. Um, Non-chill filtered, barrel proof. This one clocks in at 112.4 proof. What was our Russell's? 114 or something? It was 114.8. So 112.4, a little bit lower. And uh, a little more expensive on this, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we paid about the same uh, with the 13, right? Because mm. this retails for what, 250? Um, yeah. Sorry, I just. Yeah, thanks for just all spilling. Over the place. I only spill the expensive bottles. <laughs> <as well. laughs> yeah, so I want to. Uh, let, let me look up how much I paid while you're doing yeah, so your is the, uh, This is the inaugural release. Uh, I think they're trying to showcase. Uh, Rick houses and you know uh, two ninety nine price paid by the way. You paid three hundred bucks. Okay. All right. Uh, so it's, it's, MSRP is two fifty, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't overpay as much as you yeah. did. No, I paid two fifty. Yeah, no, but you but paid two x. I paid point five x or point. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I have I have a bottle of this as well. Uh, oh, okay. So I paid two fifty. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I, I guess I saved 50 because I over definitely overpaid Whatever. for that. So anyway, okay, look. Um, so this specific release is, um, there were only like 72 barrels, and it features uh, barrels from Cap Nelson C, which I think is now dismantled. So it's mm. like this uh, historic rick house. Uh, it's on top of some hill, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, history. <laughs> you know what I always say with this stuff is like, all that stuff's just marketing at the end of the day. Yeah, that's it, only why, that's why if, I laugh. it only matters if the whiskey's good, right? I know, that's why I laugh. That's a great story, but yeah. uh, if this is not any good, then who cares, right? It's like the magazine saying, honey barrel does everything. Yeah. yeah All right, how's the nose? Let's let Jules talk first, because Dylan, you and I have both had this. Yeah. Mm. No, I like the... Uh... <sighs> so I'm getting an internal of sweetness, but I think I'm also getting the, uh, the ethanol hit on this. To me, it's it's less More than fruity, this. less fruity than the thirteen, but it's almost like a paint by numbers bourbon nose for me. Like it's very traditional. I don't know. It's I almost disagree. slightly. Uh, 
I disagree. Yeah, I don't know if it's that traditional. I don't know. It smells very traditional to me. But I feel like I'm getting more of an ethanol burn on the nose compared to the uh, 13. Mm. I'm not getting that. I like if we just dismiss. <laughs> I was like, no. Why I just get less fruit. He's like, why don't you tell us what? You... No. No. Uh, all right, Dylan, what about you? What do you, what do you got on the nose? Okay, so on the nose, sorry, I just tasted it. Um, Habit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, the difference between this and the Russell's 13 is that nose? I, I get a little bit more grain on the nose. Yeah. Um, it's right in the middle. Uh, I do still get the grape skin, which is really pleasant, really nice. Mm. I still get the honey. I still get the fruits. Um, mm. uh, maybe a little less floral less, than the 13. Yeah. Mm. Um, and what, what I noticed when I first tried this was that it had less wood uh, mm. on the nose um, yeah. compared to the 13. I would agree with that. I felt too. like 13, it, it's, it's always prominent here. You have to search a little bit. Now, is right. this better than... Kind of the other bourbon releases. It's hard to say because it doesn't distinguish itself that much. Yeah. Right? It's like it has the DNA of Russell's yeah. and it has a lot of DNA of wild turkey actually. Yeah. So palate to me on the first sip, very similar to me in some ways, but less spicy and less oak. It's a little bit like a tamed down version of the 13, but mm -hmm. then it, at, the, at the same time, it, like because it's tamed down, it's almost bland. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, for me, on palate, it's muted across compared to the 13, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just across the board. Yeah, it's, it's really different, mm -hmm. surprisingly. I think it's the lack of the oak to me. Or just it's not nearly as oak. Not oaky. nearly, yeah. Uh, so let me see. Definitely less oak. You still get the honey, but again, it's not complete brown sugar. It's, it's that white sugar, uh, refined sugar flavor. You get a little bit of that summer fruit. Yeah. Um, There's a little bit of fruit on the... I wish, I wish the the part where I typically want that jam and the stewed fruit, I wish that band was turned up. Yeah. And, and that's the wish. And at two hundred and ninety nine dollars, I I expect that in every bottle, right? I expect yeah. that in every bottle. Now, the intent was for us to experience as an you know academically experience what a single Rick House can provide. Their Rick House mm -hmm. and. Um, provides do you think they achieve that do you think that you're like oh okay i get i sympathize with what uh camp nestles nelson c has provided over the years like i don't care yeah i mean it's not anything special to me it's yeah. good it's fine but it doesn't taste like 300 hundred dollar whiskey so then why is everyone losing their minds over this because they probably went through an experience like you went through with the russell's 13 they sought it out they finally found it they paid too much money and they're and, and they're just like psychologically you're like oh you're trying to justify you know, how much and, and you if spend it's pretty good it. it's very good it's very good whiskey but yeah. when you go through that experience and you pay that much money very good whiskey in your own mind becomes sublime becomes like angelic and yeah. it's just not that <laughs> it's like some of the other whiskeys we've tried and it's like none of the grain has been barreled out yeah. you know this is good like, i mean don't get me wrong I, it's I, I, good it's, i actually prefer this to the 13 i would say i to, agree to sip i agree uh, actually but, i've had both in my collection and over the last couple months I've been going back and forth, and I say, you know what? I gravitate toward yeah. the camp. Well, this actually, wait, well, this let's, would be more of a daily. Let's uh, let's sure. go back to the yeah, thirteen. Just, but I don't know. I still like the thirteen. I, I prefer the nose, no question. Yeah, I prefer the Camp Nelson, no question. Jules, I think I think I know. I can read your mind. <laughs> You're I really thinking like this. Russell's thirteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, it's your jam. Yeah, it's your jam. This, I mean, this is hitting everything for me. It's not. I'm not getting. In fact, like this is almost so to toned down now compared, like just back to back. Go back to it. That because when I did, I I didn't have that experience, which was strange. No, there's there's a component to the thirteen that. And what it is is because I think the breath of like the the fruity and floral components are longer, which is why I like it. You know what I mean? Compared to this, like, I don't know. Jules, this is all turned it, down. This this me. is like it's fascinating. The thirteen so, is like. In your frequency, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. right yeah. there. Oh yeah, I feel it. Yeah. And that's the thing, man. You know, and that's the thing is, you, we're, we can only give our own perspectives on this, right. and that's why we have three of us, and we obviously had a different experience, th experience here. Like right. you and I, Dylan, both preferred yeah. the Rick House single Rick House. Yeah. You definitely prefer the Brussels Thirteen. Yeah. And that's just 
the magic of it. Okay, so how much would you pay now that you've That's tried the, the I would not pay 800 for this, though. Yeah, yeah. but how much and would you pay? And even then, 300 what, what, is really What is this high. worth? What's this worth to you? But I would 40, go as high as 200 on this. 40 bucks, 60 yeah. bucks, 70 bucks. Right. You'd go to 200 on that? Yeah. I would go to 100 just to have it in my collection. But if I already had it, I wouldn't yeah. seek out another bottle. You mean MSRP? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd go double. I... I I, I can't. I, I honestly, like, as, as an I academic, I would say I, I don't get eight hundred though. I would I honestly yeah, don't it's get a, like eight hundred. Like there, there's so many other two hundred. It's like okay, you know what? Secondary, yeah, double MSRP. That's like crazy. The standard. That is not two hundred dollar whiskey. <sighs> I don't think either one of these is two hundred dollar whiskey. I In think fact, the I would year... actually be even more excited had I done a fresh crack of no. it. I think no, I no, 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 no. I think the, I think the thirteen year is, you know, in today's market. I look at it as like 160 to 199. Yeah. And and I'm thinking I'm thinking about the 15 year like prideful goat. I'm thinking about the 15 year totes. I'm Not thinking about Greek. I'm thinking about all of those yeah. and I'm thinking you can you can get 150 to 200 so let's, but, say, let's say at least 130 for 10 years per age statement right. per year yeah, of right. age. per year. So yeah, I would understand up to 150 on that. Mhm. Um, I would I would pay that to have it in my collection, but I probably I would not buy a second bottle at that price. Yeah. I'm calling BS on that one, but I agree with you. I think you're more <laughs> honest. The one ninety and two hundred dollars. You're calling because, BS that you wouldn't pay, pay yeah, for because, a second bottle. Okay, because okay, so, okay, I have okay. to buy no, okay, to have it in my collection. Okay, yeah, yeah I'd go up to two hundred, but yeah. I would I would feel a little dirty about it. I don't like it. What do you want me to tell you? I, I, I don't, paid I paid I mean, more I, than two hundred for this you like for you it. guys. For you, <laughs> thank okay? you. For you, and 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 so. I mean, I do feel dirty, but I'm I glad that you it, tried it. I get that price. I do agree. Okay. I so hang on, let's strip everything away. Let's just talk, just tasting experience here today, yeah. knowing that this was 40 bucks, 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Just on flavor alone, where do you think they should fall on price? I, I like this. No, I know, but how much more should you pay for these? Real, like just looking at flavor, not talking about mm. what Rick House it came from. Or yeah, how I mean, hard it was I, to make. I think this is the flavor that it provides. Having tried it multiple times, I would say it's one hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Yeah. How yeah. about the Cam Nelson? I think it's about the same. Yeah, about okay. one hundred fifty dollars. I don't agree. Yeah. I would put these on the same because obviously, like there yeah. are different frequencies, and right. one is going to resonate with some people, one's going to resonate with other. others. I th- I and there's special releases. So, so one thing about the 13, I would say, is that I think having oh. a large collection of Blue Run <laughs> and the fact that, that someone from Blue Run right. was involved, yep. I think they really focused on the aroma. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Right? With I, I, I think that <laughs> component... Better knows for sure. Right. But so, you know, I, I just went back into the Rick House, and as it's opening up, to me, it's getting sweeter. And yeah. I think it's actually balancing. I think it's even getting better a little bit. Yeah. So I think I think these. I would say, two ninety nine is it's tough. too much. And the thing is, they are going to release other versions of this, right? So yeah. for folks yeah. out there, um, yeah. If you're watching this in the future, don't fret. This more exclusive, which you get. I get. Please right? don't fret. Like you know, don't. Pay. Well, quite frankly, what I would say is, is from my perspective, yeah. uh, these two right here, the single barrels. I think you're you're getting. Just as good of an experience. Yeah, I really do. I, it, it's not a significant elevation. Like if we're only looking at price based on flavor, mm-hmm. maybe seventy, maybe, maybe eighty, ninety, a hundred. That's where those should be based on how good the sixty and seventy dollar bottles are, in my opinion. Oh, I get that justification from an experience know. point of view. I'd say I would have agreed with you ten years ago. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm a little dated there, but, and I and I understand that, but I'm not factoring in special release. I'm not factoring right. in age. Just on flavor alone, I just don't think. I just think they're. I think it's just too much. It's I mean, not the aroma an is, is like crafted. Right? Oh, the thirteen crafted. aroma is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It's just man, the tap, yeah. the, that oak. Yeah, it's too tannic for in. me. And the Rick House is less, but... Jules likes it, but... All right, guys. Well, as much as we'd like to keep talking about the bourbons, let's move on to the rise and try something a little different. Pass on down. Come on down. Russell's Reserve Straight Rye Whiskey. Look at that. Six years old, 45% alcohol, 90 proof. Look at that. It's got a white and green motif. Of course, green being the unofficial color of... Rye whiskey. Rye. 
So let's talk about rye, and let's talk about rye and prices, right? Rye and what? Prices. 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 Okay. Uh, so you know, in the recent years. How much was this, by the way? Let's check the tapes here. Uh, this is uh, sixty-five ninety-nine. Yeah. Wait, is that right? No, sorry, thirty-five ninety. Thirty-five ninety-nine. So let's talk about some prominent ryes that we talked about in the past. Um, like the old, for, old Forester. 100. Yeah, 100. Will it? Yeah, Will it? Right? Will it? The Pig. The Pig. Yeah. All those are a little higher proof here. We're at yeah, that's true. 90. So, and rye has been gaining popularity in the last 10 years. And, you know, this is, I, I would say, a decent price point, right? Yeah, 35. Oh, yeah. 30, 30, let's call it 35 to 40 dollars, depending on your market. Yeah. Maybe a little higher. I don't. You guys, let us know if you pay more than that. Let us know if you pay less than that. Uh, how's the nose on this one? Oh, it's pleasant. Nice. Very pleasant. pleasant. No, I, I. You know, I don't get any oak uh, no, at all. No oak. I get very familiar rye. Yeah. But I don't get. Hey. I don't get medicinal. Not medicinal. And I don't get grain. Maybe a little bit on the dill. You know, some people don't like the dill hit that can come with some rye. I, I think this, this is a nice balance. Might actually. bleed into that, but I, I like. I happen to like this nose a lot. But yeah. I love the Willet rye flavor profile too. I think the Willet rye nice. punches harder. It's higher proof usually. It's usually like what one fourteen, one fifteen, something like that. You have to almost it's, tease it's, out some of the. I think it's a little narrow in the spectrum. Yeah, it is. But also no. factor this in: a thirty-five dollar ninety proof rye, it still provides a lot of flavor on the nose. I don't think it shines necessarily on the nose, but it, it's fine. Nothing yeah. off-putting. Pleasant. Yeah. Let's get into the palate. What do you think? I mean, there's really nothing to complain about. <laughs> no, it's, it's like it's a little bit muted, it's maybe. It's kind of. It's, um, I'd pr appreciate it more at 100 proof, maybe. And that's why I think when we get to the higher proof, it's almost girl, like water, dude. It's very drinkable. I mean, yeah. still a lot of good flavors. Oh yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of the old Forester, right? A little less sweeter. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more mellow. Yeah. Meaning, like, it's Little, a lot, it's a very, lot. very it's muted really in its mellow. flavor, but yeah. nothing that's off putting. No off putting, yeah. No. I don't taste any medicinal components. Mm -hmm. I don't taste any vitamins. I just get a I don't hint taste... of like a minty refreshness. Though. It's nice. So it's yeah, nice. I get a little it's bit of mint. I get a little bit of mint. Yeah. yeah, mint. I get it. Yeah. So, uh, but. But not like. It's not a superstar. It's not going to stand out. It's not going to stand out, but it's no. very pleasant. It may stand out in that how weak it is. <laughs> you know, if you're if you're it's on so if you're on vacation and you're staying at a motel or hotel somewhere and you're just like, yeah, I just want to have. Well, I'm going to get more funk out of the motel than I am <laughs> out of this. Jules <laughs> 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 likes to go to those motels. We have to put in the quarters. <laughs> Because that's a lot of fun, man. You know what? It's like the motel in the in the commando. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, yeah. You know, remember? Um, oh, well, anyways, um, my, my point was going to be you're on vacation, you're staying at a hotel or a motel, and there's a little corner liquor store next door, and you're like, I just want something to sip on. I'm feeling right. And you go in there, and they have this. You only have 35, 40 bucks to spend. You're going to enjoy the heck out of it. When Arnold goes through the door to the <laughs> next to her room, there's Joel sitting on the bed with a, with a vibrating bed, oh, drinking uh, Russell's Russell Russell Reserve. Reserve. <laughs> you know, this is the time where I wish we had the budget for special effects to make that happen. <laughs> um, all right. Let's move on to the single barrel rye and all close right. this thing off. All right. So, so will, the, will the next bottle be uh, reminiscent of a vibrating bed once again? Joel's uh, is quarter. Uh, that's, 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 that's my bar. And we've got, we've got the same motif just in, in reverse here. The white on green, single barrel. Now we're up at 104 proof, 52% alcohol, non-chill filtered rye, single barrel. Again, not age stated. What's the price on that, Dutch? Uh, this was 64, 65 bucks. All right. 65.99. No coupons there? I did have a coupon. That's why I had to correct myself. Mm. And um, again, a pretty available one. If, if a store carries the regular rye, I feel like they always have the single barrel too. Although Dylan, you and I had quite a excursion today <laughs> trying to find the easiest of these to find, the 10-year. <laughs> Took us like an hour of driving around town. Jeez. 
Wow. I had, to, I had to deal with Dutch's road rage. Oh, man. I had some bad road rage today yeah. for some reason. Dutch became his alter ego, as I said. Butch. Butch. It's, it's a very similar nose. It's just more intense. I get more of the grain on this one. And there's a hint of... I don't get that. The medicinal. I'm not towards the grain. end. I'm not getting that either. I, I'm getting just a more intense traditional rye spice. It's not particularly sweet or oaky or anything. It's just very straightforward rye. I'm get I'm getting also again the same mintiness I was getting at the end. Yeah, I do get the mint. There's mint yeah. for sure. Yeah, but, I, but think I think it comes out more. Definitely more more grain. Really? No, I really don't get the grain on this on the nose. All right, palate guys, ready? Go for it. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. <laughs> No, I thought you were gonna reference go for it. Connect for it. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about, man. I win. Remember that? Yeah. Go Idiots. for it. Oh, I gotta try it again. I gotta, I gotta try it again. Oh, got three in a row. Go for go one for more. Me. Go for it. I win. Connect for it. Oh, yeah. You sunk my battleship. Oh, do you remember the song from Crossfire? <laughs> Crossfire! Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Crossfire. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, man, that was so good. <sighs> What's happening here? Anyway. <laughs> the nostalgia tour. Boomer. Boomer. Um, okay, look. Do you agree? What? More medicinal. There's yeah, definitely yeah. rye. Especially on the palate. Yeah, like I said before. It's really... <laughs> yeah. It's not as easy to sip as the six-year. No, not at all. It's more intense. And again, of course... Caveat, single barrel. Right. Your mileage may vary. I get a little bit more bitterness. It's a, it, Everything's cranked up. Yeah. I think this is good for mixing. But the question is... It's expensive, though. Do you pick this over... Yeah. Will like it? this? Or it will force her to 100, right? Which is... To sip on, I cheaper. think... I would... <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> All right, cheaper. Go back to the 80s, Dylan. Um... I, okay, to sip on. Okay, the old Forester. I'm passing on this. The old Forester's sweeter, probably easier sipper. The well cheaper. As is, is broader it, is spectrum. It great punchy. Yeah, broader spectrum. About the same price. Um, I don't know where this slots in. And then, and then I'm also thinking of wild turkey rare breed rye. Yeah. Mm. Which at one really great one twelve proof. I like I that. Have a much better experience yeah. than this. Totally. Not bad, at all. If this was closer to 40, 50 bucks, I think. I don't know sure. where this fits yeah, I don't in either. the wild I just turkey don't get line. It. Yeah. I feel like they, I don't know who would prefer this. I, over but the, the thing is, I, the unfortunate part of this is, I feel like they needed to have it on their porf in their portfolio. There's a symmetry. Yeah. yeah and so then it was like, it. okay, well, let's, we, everybody's doing rye. Let's do the rye. Everybody's doing single barrel. Single barrel yeah, single barrel. Let's do it. Let's do that. Yeah. And then I would kind uh, of, much rather they put out a something like rare breed, a blended, higher proof version of the yeah, six year. Yeah, that would be great. But then at that point, it's like, well, what's the distinction here between the Russells and the turkey? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think craft the rye, get it to 10 years, uh, blend sure. it, blend it, and, yeah. uh, you know, release a unique product. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know what they're doing here. Because if this is, what, 30 and 60 or whatever it is. Um, you know, 35, 65, yeah. Yeah. So get a 10-year product at higher proof, blended, uh, barrel mm. selection. And price it at ninety, eighty nine, yeah. ninety nine. Well, I, I would not be surprised if in this coming year they but have they a, a special release that's yeah. in line with that. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to wait and yeah. see. Um, all right, guys, let's get to a quick recap of our Russell's drink through. <laughs> Jules is falling asleep. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, fun drink through here. Um, interesting experience going through all these expressions. Wait. Wild Turkey versus Russell's Reserve. Which one do you pick? What do you wild mean? Just turkey. overall? Overall. Wild Turkey. I'm, mm. I'm grabbing the Wild Turkey Rare Breed not chill filtered over any of these personally. Wow. 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 Jules? Well, what about you? Oh, that's a Wild Turkey. I totally would. Over this. Yeah. Wow. You're going to get a lot of hate for that. I know. Um, <laughs> I mean, these do provide academic learning. Rare Breed... Bourbon. Yeah. It is as good as either of those. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper, I would probably go for the available. travel exclusive. The uh, wild, yeah. yeah, the yeah. non-chill filtered. And here's the other bring thing. Bring that is, to the U.S. If I want this nose, I get the 13-year father and yeah. son. Because it had a very similar nose to me. 
I don't know. I man. think this. I think this is a little bit more intense. I think this is more uh, yeah, deliberate. Yeah, this is more proof. deliberate. No doubt. It's higher proof right. on the palate. I don't know about the nose. I don't know. I I, I I liked all this. I think my sweet spot here was actually the single barrel bourbon. To me, that was mm. the highlight. Like that, I got a new appreciation for just how good that is as a yeah. single barrel bourbon. Yeah, for our, for our listeners or for viewers, our viewers, I would say, yeah, I would agree. I would I would gravitate toward this. I think this is a good value. This is a sweet spot. It's a great this is a good value, value and a good yeah. showcase. Uh, yeah. Not the not the not the store pick, but just the, a yeah. single, barrel, single barrel regular barrel. release. Yeah is a good value uh, and it's a nice showcase for the for the Russell's Reserve line. I like it. I, I think that's really good. It gives you a lot. It gives you a, a plenty to think about. Absolutely. Um, these are luxuries for sure. Yeah. And, and you pay the luxury tax for them. Yeah, it's definitely a luxury tax. Um, I, I still feel dirty paying way over MSRP yeah. on this. I, so. I, yeah, I, I feel already paying close to MSRP for the single brick house. It's Do you just, remember when I sent that message? I, I said, here it is. Yeah. Did you like scrubbing yourself with a Brillo pad? Yeah, he's yeah. crying in the shower and yeah. like biting the washcloth. Sandpaper. And... I go sandpaper. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this has been a super fun drink through. Cheese green. Definitely. <laughs> Jules, take us out. Oh, man. This is getting nasty. Okay, like I... the bigger <laughs> cut on the cheese yeah, green. The, the wider one. Wide that, that, ju that julienne's right. like almost like the size of a French fry. Yeah, there we go. A mandolin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> tell us what you guys think in the comments <laughs> the below give us a thumbs up or thumbs down either way let us know how you feel do you want to help us out please consider joining Curiosity Private it's our membership program here on YouTube we're also on Patreon and we have a podcast out there on all the major podcast platforms out there also that's good. I forgot t-shirts this one we got and two t-shirt shops and that one yeah. actually yeah. yeah links in the description as always stay safe stay healthy stay curious There's a lot of wood. All right, what did you go back wood. to? So what was the sticker? The sticker was the 13 year? 13. It's just a wood, man. Just no, the, the like aroma's it. great. The, 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 my initial impression... Well, now I wish I'd try that fresh crack with you, because if it was that much sweeter... It was really sweet. Mm. It was really sweet. Ooh, I, I, I could said, see why everyone hey, went crazy. You know what's really interesting is having it right after the rye uh, tamps down a lot of that crazy spice for me. No. <laughs> But it's still oaky on the finish. I just it's don't very like oaky. it. It's I just very don't like oaky. It's very oaky. Yeah. Single Rickhouse? No, like I said multiple people have tried. I would pour Russell's 13 because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, this is really good. I couldn't figure really it out. Like and so then I had yeah, I other people that. taste. I said, I'm, I'm drinking Russell's 13. Would you like to try here? You know, just take a taste. And they're like, ooh. That, that was the response. Nice. Ooh, yeah. And I said, and I go, really? Because I paid, I paid a lot of money on this. It's like, well, we filmed a short. I filmed a short with Dr. Roju. Oh. You know, he was a tequila aficionado, but he loves his whiskey too. Okay. And we did our fresh crack of this. Yeah. And I asked him, would you pay, you know, is it $300 good? Mm. And his literal words were, <laughs> <"F> no. <laughs> but the question is, he only has one PhD, right? Oh, so you can call up Dr. Dylan and ask him. Because you you your middle name's PhD. <laughs> PhD yeah. No, that's his uh, associate. <laughs> no <laughs> associates. <laughs> Dr. Dylan. <laughs> PhD adjacent, right? <laughs>